My name is Dr. Eric Thomas. I practice in Cape May Courthouse, New Jersey. I've been there for about uh, 25 years, and five years before that, I was a dentist in the uh, United States Army. I've been practicing with uh, the Vivos treatment for about two years now. Most of the uh, common issues would be patients coming in saying that they have daytime fatigue, uh, they, have, they wake up with morning headaches, uh, the jaw is, the jaw is sore, um, maybe allergies, mouth breather, a uh, sleep partner says that they snore too much, uh, some to the point where they don't sleep in the same bedroom. I have gotten excellent feedback. Number one, myself, I was my first Vivos patient, and uh, my numbers have, have dropped down dramatically. Uh, I don't have to wear my appliance anymore. Uh, I like wearing it, so I may pop it in periodically. Uh, my snoring has stopped. My AHI numbers have gone down significantly. I have a patient right now, he's a state trooper. He said he was waking up at least five, ten times a night waking up because he couldn't keep a, a good sleep. Three days after he received treatment, he called back and said this was the first night he only woke up once that night and now he's not waking up and he just came back in the other day for his one week follow up. So he is beside himself and his wife is thanking me as well. So it's nice, it's gratifying to know that we can really treat patients and they have such success early on that they actually believe what's, what's happening. Breathing and sleep treatment, I think, is pretty fascinating. It's close to me because I was a uh, moderate sleep apnea patient and did not know it. And once I found that out, I was really intrigued that there is a corrective treatment for patients like myself and not just a management. If another doctor wanted to get involved with Vivos, I would definitely say get on a plane or drive to one of the cities that we have some of the integrated tours you'll be able to learn things that you never thought about before because dental school did not teach me about this facet of, uh, of dentistry. So it's definitely something that's multifaceted. It, it, it puts the dentist on the front lines of trying to help save lives.